Jamar, you know, I know, uh, you know, heck of a first, like we talked last week, it was baptism by fire for your first game as coordinator. But I guess, you know, after looking at the film and kind of grading things out, I mean, I know you know, like, loss is a loss. I know they put up some numbers and stuff. But what were your, what were your initial, what were your impressions of your, of your defense and you after, your, after that game you know, last week? You know, walking back into the rack after the game, I was pretty down. I was, you know, obviously, you guys, you know me, I was, pretty, I was upset, not happy, and. You know, a lot of players wanted to give me my first win. I was kind of like their their little their little deal for the whole week. And I had a handful of them tell me, "Hey, sorry, coach, apologizing." But you know, it was you know after that, I was I was okay. And I came back and watched the film. And you know, those kids, we, we we played really well for about 45 minutes. You know, I would even say you know middle third quarter, we we're playing really well. We we're only down by 14 at that one point, so we're still in the game. Mm-hmm. And then we just you know it just kind of went south, but. You know, I, am I excited about the kids playing? Yeah, I know most people are probably like, "Well, you guys got to pull out." Well, I think you got to see the big picture. You know, from where we're at a couple weeks ago to where we're at now, kids are playing with emotion. You know, we got off the field on third down early in the game. You know, they had a couple of drops because guys were attacking the ball. They were just sitting back and like, "Oh, let me tackle." No, attack the ball. Um, guys were just flying around, hitting people. Eddie had a big hit. And then, and then we come back with a blocked field goal. That's still a defensive play. We took points off the board, and guys are playing with emotion. So I thought that was really, really good. Obviously, we, we lost. You know, the state team saw that we lost, and I just, you know, I was pretty upset about that. But you know, it's the first, 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 my very first game calling the game. You know, like I said, baptism by fire. Like, that was a really good team. People got to understand that. Like David Carr may be a first round pick. I mean, he's that good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw him on the sideline. He was making checks after we had. You know, I'm I'm sitting on the blitz, and then he sees the he sees a coverage roll late, and he's making a check, and he sprints away from the blitz and throws a comeback. You know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's like, man, that kid's a good player. He's a senior. You know, he sees this, he's, he's kind of guy, and you got Isaiah Burst, you got Harper, you got some really good players on that side of the ball that were, you know, we, we, we contain them to our best of our ability. Do we give up one big pass yet yeah, for 50 yards? Yeah, but you watch the film, they get four or five of those a game. And we were able to contain those guys. So we just got to do a better job up front. I got to do a better job coaching the defensive line and getting those guys going and learning how to play tired. You know, not to. You mentioned this, and we've talked about playing tired. You know, you haven't had the depth on the defensive line all season. We've we've known that, and yeah. there's not much. There's nothing you can do about that right now. But you know, you're out there for you know 89 plays, and that doesn't include penalty plays. So Coach C said, what about 95 plays? Your defense was out there. Some of those guys are on special teams too. You know, so I mean, you, you know, obviously this defense, or not a lot of defenses that matter, can be out on the field that many plays and and remain to be effective. I mean, is that going to be how big is that going to be to, you know? to not be on the field that much, to, 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 to lessen that. I know that's maybe, you know, some things you can't control of getting off the field, but also it works on the other side too. Yeah. I mean, how, how critical is that going to be down the stretch here? Our, our emphasis is we can only control our side of the ball, so all we got to worry about is we got to take care of our actions on our side of the ball. So we got to get off the field on third down. If it's 31, 32, 30, 15, we got to get off the field. And we got to win on first down. So if we set them back on first down, then that gives us a chance to win on third down. Mm-hmm. So we just got to do a better job on first and third down get off the field. But if we can't get off the field on third down, that allows them to get three, six, whatever the number may be, mm-hmm. or more plays on our bodies.